All right, ladies and gentlemen. I decided that since the car took me back a, uh, not the normal way I would go back, or it would take me back on the last video that I did on my commute, that I would get a video with it doing that. Um, as it always seems to be, I'm under not ideal conditions here. We got some light snow. There is some snow on the roads and places, so um, we will still have that variable going on for us, but let's see what we get. We're going to start off with this unprotected left here, which actually, uh, we got a pretty good opening here if it just wants to take it. Go ahead. Take it. Take it. Take it. Yeah, go. It's like clear for miles. Well, not miles, but really, really clear. <laughs> now at the point where it's been more than a week that uh, FSD Beta 11.3.1 has been available to the early access testers, so really hoping that at some point soon we start getting a rollout to the rest of the world, because you think in a week they know or not know what's going on, because at the point that they're releasing to the early access testers, they have tested a lot with employees, so you would think that it's a pretty done deal at the point that they're releasing the, the EAP folks, but if anything, about, if there's anything I know about Tesla, it's that you can never know what Tesla's going to do, so maybe that won't be the case. All right, we're coming up here. We got less than a half a mile uh, before we need to make our turn. We got an awesome truck next to us and another truck here. So uh, let's see if the car decides to jam its way in. Because we're going to need to get over at some point, right? Weird. Okay, it's going to like jam on the brakes. So, all right, well, that wasn't exactly graceful, but. It got over to its lane, and it didn't wait until the last second for once, which is also good. <laughs> it's weird. I think that that reaction was a combination of the car turning left there as well as it wanted to get over, because it, it does get weird when a car moves to a turning lane and then slows down to turn. It it almost looks like it thinks it's still in its own, in the travel path, <laughs> and it gets a little freaked out a little. After seeing it in one of Chuck Cook's videos, I've created a profile just for creating these videos. Um, but I can't help but think the car seems to be like. I had to check what my FSD profile is in my normal profile because, like, when it's accelerating here, it seems to be awful slow on the accelerator. Um, so I don't know if that's a function of maybe I have my FSD profile on my account as assertive versus like normal. I put it on normal and you know the middle of the three. I don't know what the label is on that one uh, for this. All right, so here comes one of our first weirdisms on this route. It's going to nearly like drive past this turn and then brake hard and it's going to make a liar out of me this time. <laughs> it, yeah, it's going to actually take that turn absolutely perfectly. <laughs> uh, one thing I am going to do here, um, 
this is a 35. I don't know why it detects it as a 25. So it will pop it to 35 here, but it's 35 throughout. All right. Next up is going to be that we that I normally see is going to be when we go over this. Yeah, there's a slight slowdown for going over that hill, but when we go over this hill, it'll drop me from 35 to 30 fairly aggressively going over this hill usually. And it did again. Not quite to 30. Got to 31. And it wasn't quite as aggressive as usual either, so... I wonder if some of my problems that I've been having, I am definitely going to have to look at what my profile is because I wonder if some of my problems I've been having, see I mean it's so slow taking this turn, so I don't know if it's a profile or if it's detecting the snow and it's getting really cautious, actually that would be interesting if it's detecting the snow and it's driving slower and more cautious on the turns and the accelerations because of the snow, that is very impressive if that is actually what it's doing. Big stop there. Oof. Um, because that's what it should do. Like in snowy weather, the acceleration be should should be way more mild. The turns should be more careful. Man, I, I wonder if that's what it's doing. I will have to when I get a chance when we stop here at the um when I do the debrief, I will have to check and see if my profile versus this recording profile is different. And if it is, we're definitely seeing the result of that. If it's not different, then it is very curious why the car is being so cautious. Usually a brake here. Drop me almost 10 miles an hour for no reason. And now it's always funny about this little split turn here. And I get it, this is a weird turn, but I'm going to probably brake hard here. Not, not as bad as, normal, as it usually is. Alright, no traffic coming from the left, so we should uh, get a pretty quick uh, go here. Uh, it's taking a sweet time. This go no go behavior. This is odd. Funny enough, though, no interventions yet. So, yeah, I, I got to intervene here. Like, it was just, this this person in front of me would absolutely have turned left in front of me if I didn't get on the accelerator there. That was way too cautious. Unfortunately, we don't, we haven't seen the old, uh, red icon of doom down there saying that FSD beta is limited or disabled due to poor weather. That seems only reserved for, yep, good caution there with that car that was sort of moving. I'll give it that one. Yeah, getting the, the red icon of doom seems to be reserved for rain, apparently, because, like, light, if this was light rain like this, I guarantee you I would, the system would be disabled. I 
way, we are now past the point where my route differed uh, from the first return commute video. Good yellow stop here. I've had a couple instances here over the last few days where, holy crap, it blew, try, it was going to absolutely blow through some stale yellow lights. Um, thank you, Nitza, there for the, uh, <laughs> for the complaints about that, because that was a legitimate complaint. Uh, you had to disengage the the decisions. Yeah, and we're gonna be yeah super slow on this. So I'm gonna intervene so the guy behind me doesn't think I'm a jerk. Oh, there it is. Full self-driving may be degraded, poor weather detected. Now, at least in this instance, I will give it that, because I'm looking, the visibility, the, I don't know if you could see them, the, there were some cars turning left up here, uh, and they were a little bit occluded. Um, so, I will actually give it this one. Um, if it disables me for a, a weather here, because you're seeing what I'm seeing, um, it would be more forgivable than the ones that I have dealt with in the past with the rain, where there's barely any rain. That said, again, if you're going to have full self-driving, you can't, like, this has got to be drivable. Like, this is drivable by a human. Like, without question. It's not even, for a human, it's not even terrible weather. Like, it, yeah, visibility is reduced. There's no doubt about that. Um, but if we're going to be superhuman, and that's, that's what the claim for this system has always been, um, you've got to be able to drive this, because this is trivial for a human to drive. Other than the really odd, like, super cautious starts uh, coming out of stops, like, this has been a really, this has been a really weird drive because of those and the super cautious turns. Like, look at this. Like, we're just, like, creeping on into the intersection here. And now, now it's going to kick up. Like, I gave it a little tap on the accelerator there, but then it kind of kicked up on its own. Y'all are going to have to tell me if, um, you know what, I'm going to take this one over because this is a little snowy here. My tires are not the best and I'm not going to let it over drive that. So that's on me. Didn't want to give it a chance to make a mistake because... I'm just this side of needing to put some new rubber on this. Uh, getting a, getting snow in Ohio mid-March after having literally like three significant snowfalls all year uh, was a surprise this morning. <laughs> so I've been trying to baby it through, baby the, that set of tires through. Uh, into the spring and summer before I put new rubber on. I think I got about four, three or four thousand miles till I was due for a rotation, and on that rotation, I was just going to replace them. All right, so let's see what it does with this right turn here, because normally it's going to take a look at this and just go. It should go, it should go, yep, there you go, there you go. Yeah, 
still kind of flabbergasted about how this is behaving. Trying to decide if it's driver profile or weather um, or if it's the fact that this is a brand new, sorry, if it's driver profile, like assertion, like how assertive I want FSD to be setting uh, the weather, or if it's the fact that this is a brand new driver profile I created today, and I wouldn't think that FSD would care who the driver is in the car beyond the setting for, you know, cautious, normal, or assertive uh, behavior. But maybe we kind of learned something today. Could be a lot of anything. Who knows? Hopefully this video gets some traction uh, and maybe people with better knowledge than I, uh, why are we changing lanes to follow a route? There is no lane to change here. Maybe people with better knowledge than I can uh, answer that question. All right, my, 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 my. So we actually are gonna slow down. Normally, again, this uh, car takes this like a bat out of hell coming into this turn. If you're gonna go, that actually was a good go there, car. Very good. That's one of the better lefts that that's made with oncoming traffic incoming. Uh, so, I, kudos on that turn. Let's see what it wants to do with the cul-de-sac here. It's gonna treat it like a four-way stop. <laughs> Alright, what are we gonna do with this cul-de-sac? So typical behavior is it sort of overruns it a little bit, but does make the turn properly. Yeah, we're going to come to a hard stop. That was weird. It, it had, the path planner on there was right. It was perfect. No cars, no traffic control devices, but we hard braked to a stop. And of course, we already know what this is going to do. And that Celeste Autopilot Nav is complete, so we're going to take it off and kind of set it over here. Alright, let's have a look here. So, for the FSD video, we're going to go to Autopilot, and we're on Average. If I flip to my profile... Alright, so I do have mine set for Assertive. So, that explains this behavior a little bit. Um, that said, if you're in snow, maybe dropping that uh, profile back to average is not the worst idea. Um, interestingly enough, too, we did get some better behavior out of some of my turns here, uh, as opposed to having it on assertive. So, we'll have to flip that. We'll flip us back over here to that and we are going to say assertive and yeah we're going to leave it at that for the moment all right well I hope we all learned a little something today uh so i hope you enjoyed this video um might have to make another one with assertive uh but who knows how much longer we're going to have to wait for 11 to come out and maybe i won't get that chance to have that true one-to-one -one video for that route so we will see but anyhow uh thanks for riding along with me today take care folks have yourselves a good one